So listen, I used to have sympathy for the ones who didn't know, because when you don't know, you just don't know, right? But I'm seeing a lot more people with all of this information, all of this transparency about what's going on, about what's the money being spent towards. Now, don't get me wrong. I know a lot of times they say they're spending money on something, but they're not. But on the things that we can see, like the James Webb Telescope, the price tag on it was astronomical, but we see it out there, or at least we're getting information back from what it's out there doing, the groundbreaking information and data it's given us. Like, so I no longer sympathize with someone who just wants to complain just to complain. Oh, where is my, where's my money going? It's going towards this. Do you know how much information we've received from different ones, whether it be Hubble or the Voyagers or James Webb or any of the other telescopes that's out there? And how much information that can relay back to our own planet that we've figured out? Different things. Like some people just want to complain to complain. And I get that. But listen, man. I think it's a great thing that we're doing. I think we're doing we're making some tremendous strides. And we just have to see what we what information we get and where it takes us. But I'm off my little soapbox, man, because I see too many people complaining of, about things but really don't know or understand what we're out here doing. You you know what I'm saying? And like I said, I used to sympathize because I was once that person walked around lost in the matrix. Until y'all unplugged me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this video here, man, is Michio Kaku just announced the terrifying truth about James Webb Telescope's latest image. So I'm going to continue to do my part, look into this stuff, bring y'all along with me, put it out there to the people, and let them see what's, being go what's going on and taking place. All right? So we're going to get into the video. If you're new, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Join the family. And let's check this out. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. Upsetting the people. Well, I think these pictures are spectacular. They're breathtaking. And they realize, you realize there's a whole universe out there that we have not seen. It's true that the farthest reaches of space have some of the most epic questions in science, like how and when the first galaxies formed and what happens inside a black hole. But let's not forget about the equally epic questions that exist right here in our own solar system. Despite the fact that the eight planets plus Pluto and the dwarf planets orbit within a relatively small volume of the heliosphere, there is still so much we don't know about our celestial neighborhood. As we continue to improve our technology and explore space, we are learning more about the nature of our home and the evolution of planets. And now, the unveiling of the James Webb Telescope's most incredible images of Uranus and Pluto to date by renowned physicist Michio Kaku has opened up a whole new world of secrets and mysteries that were previously beyond our wildest imagination. What has the JWST- Man, He got that little smirk on his face like, <laughs> I'm glad it's out there disrupting. You know, kind of like he was like, I told y'all a little bit. That were previously beyond our wildest imagination. What has the JWST revealed about these planets and what does it mean for future studies? Let's find out. The seventh planet from the sun, Uranus, is one of the ice giants of our solar system and it has a unique feature that sets it apart from the other planets. It rotates on its side. This unusual orientation results in extreme seasons that last for years, as its poles experience prolonged periods of sunlight and darkness. And now, following in the footsteps of its stunning Neptune image release in 2022, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has recently captured another breathtaking image of our solar system's other ice giant, Uranus. The latest image features spectacularly vivid rings and bright features in Uranus's atmosphere, wow. providing astronomers with a treasure trove of data to unlock the planet's secrets. The JWST's advanced sensitivity has enabled it to capture the faintest dusty rings that have only been seen before by two other facilities, the Voyager 2 spacecraft, which flew past Uranus in 1986, and the Keck Observatory with adaptive optics. This image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope of Uranus is a real eye-opener. 
By combining data from two filters in the infrared wavelengths, the telescope reveals a stunning blue hue that Voyager 2 never captured in visible wavelengths. With the help of Webb's exceptional sensitivity, we now see more dynamic details in Uranus's atmosphere than ever before. The planet's polar cap is particularly intriguing, as it brightens when the pole enters direct sunlight during the summer and fades away in the fall, making it a unique feature among all planets. But what's even more fascinating is the subtle brightening at the centre of the polar cap that Webb's near-cam reveals, a detail that previous telescopes have not been able to capture. The discovery of this enhanced feature will give scientists a new perspective on Uranus and how it interacts with the Sun. Beyond Uranus's polar cap, there's a stunning bright cloud that shimmers in infrared wavelengths, indicating the presence of storm activity. And just when you thought things couldn't get any more exciting, a second bright cloud has been observed on the planet's left side. It doesn't look like a storm, more, more like gas to me. Like, the gases that's on there, possibly, that ain't frozen. Um, but it doesn't look like a storm. Could be. Could be, but I don't think so. I don't know. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? I'm looking at it. I'm staring at it. It's probably gases that was frozen. And then once it gets aimed towards the sun, it, you know what I mean? It starts to melt and that gas is released. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. At any more exciting, a second bright cloud has been observed on the planet's left side. These features are typical for Uranus and give us a glimpse into the dynamic nature of its atmosphere. Scientists believe that the chemical composition of Uranus's interior, which consists of mostly water, methane and ammonia, contributes to its classification as an ice giant. The planet's small rocky core is surrounded by a hot, dense fluid of icy materials. Furthermore, in this latest image taken by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, Uranus also shows off its impressive collection of rings, with 11 out of its 13 rings visible in the image. The telescope is so sensitive that some of the brighter rings appear to merge into a larger ring when they are close together. James Webb just out here showing out. <laughs> He's like, nah, y'all really thought y'all saw these plans before, but nah, let me, let me really show y'all what they look like. Out of its 13 rings visible in the image, the telescope is so sensitive that some of the brighter rings appear to merge into a larger ring when they are close together. Uranus's two paint dusty rings were only discovered during the Voyager 2 flyby in 1986 and are rarely visible with other telescopes, making the web image all the more exciting. Additionally, six of Uranus's 27 known moons, including the brightest one, can be seen in the image. But this is just the beginning. Scientists are eagerly awaiting future images from Webb that could reveal the two faint outer rings that were first discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope in 2007. And the James Webb Telescope has not only astounded us with its remarkable images of Uranus, but it also captured something equally breathtaking about Pluto. With its cutting-edge technology, JWST has now set its sights on unravelling the mysteries surrounding the dwarf planet. Not content with capturing stunning images, the telescope is now taking on the challenge of tracking the unexpected atmospheric changes happening on Pluto. As it turns out, the atmosphere of the dwarf planet is mysteriously vanishing and scientists are left scratching Why? their heads trying to figure out what's causing it. Scientists have been conducting an in-depth study of Pluto's thin, mostly nitrogen hemisphere using advanced telescopes located in the United States and Mexico. The atmosphere on this dwarf planet is composed of the vapour pressure of ice that is scattered throughout its surface, which is strikingly similar to that of Earth's. When I wonder, could it be, and that's a total shot in the dark, like maybe radiation or something like that that's getting to it, causing it? Maybe something like that is, is causing it to deteriorate, maybe? I don't know. Like I said, I'm just, just spitballing, throwing things out there, seeing what'll stick. Cut. The atmosphere on this dwarf planet is composed of the vapour pressure of ice that is scattered throughout its surface, which is strikingly similar to that of Earth's. When Pluto's ice begins to overheat, its atmosphere immediately thickens and becomes denser. This is precisely what appears to be happening, with a fascinating twist. In the last 25 years, Pluto's distance from the Sun has increased, resulting in a drop in temperature. So it's As a result, That's Pluto's environment it. is refreezing back onto its surface, causing it to disappear. 
This gradual decrease in temperature is unlikely to stop soon because of Pluto's distance from the Sun. As Pluto continues to move farther away from the Sun, the problem will only worsen. To make matters worse, Pluto is now trapped in an infinite loop known as thermal inertia, which has caused it to absorb heat from when it was closer to the Sun, increasing the pressure on its surface and the density of its atmosphere. Pluto's latest twist in fate has stunned scientists as they watch its atmosphere disappear before their eyes. It's amazing how researchers were able to uncover this phenomenon by simply watching Pluto as it crossed the Sun. They did this using a technique called occultation, which has nothing to do with the occult, but everything to do with how cosmic objects cross paths in space. Researchers have been using this method since the late 1980s to study Pluto's atmosphere by measuring the density of its atmosphere as a star passes behind it for a mere two minutes. This information has allowed them to examine Pluto's thin nitrogen-filled hemisphere and the vapor pressure of ice across its surface. It's a groundbreaking discovery that's changing our perception of how dwarf planets behave. Pluto's atmosphere is sustained by the presence of nitrogen on its surface, which is kept warm by the heat stored beneath it. However, with Pluto getting colder, this nitrogen is starting to lose its warmth, causing the atmosphere to freeze and disappear. As Pluto is moving away from the Sun, its atmosphere is cooling down due to the decreasing residual heat. It's similar to how the hot sand on a beach cools down as the day progresses. The observation of Pluto's peculiar transformation and the vanishing atmosphere is a true testament to the power of observation. It has paved the way for technological advancements that have enabled us to gain a deeper understanding of our solar system. And that's not all. The James Webb Telescope has also given scientists a chance to peer deep inside Pluto's heart, a frozen wonder that has long captured our imagination. The latest findings from the James Webb Telescope about Pluto are downright fascinating. Although Pluto may be small, it is far from unremarkable, boasting a range of stunning and mysterious features. Perhaps the most iconic and enigmatic of these is the heart-shaped region visible on its surface, known right. as the Tombo Regio. This area Whoa, is covered they, with... Oh, when did they give it a name? Last time I, I saw something, we were just calling it the, the heart shape. And for those of y'all don't... It's hard to see it right now, but on other pictures, you can kind of see it. Like, this is the outline of it here. You can kind of see it a little bit. It's better pictures out there, but I didn't know it had a name. Now they done gave it a name now. It's crazy. Perhaps the most iconic and enigmatic of these is the heart-shaped region visible on its surface, known as the Tombo Regio. Humble this radio. area is covered with carbon monoxide ice and boasts a terrain resembling that of an ice cream cone. In the center of this heart-shaped region lies Sputnik Planum, which has stumped scientists for years due to its numerous craters with no known causes. The Sputnik Planum, an otherworldly terrain on Pluto, may seem ancient, but scientists believe it is actually quite young in geological... Some of that terrain looked like volcanoes. Didn't that first one kind of look like a volcano? Let me see if I can go back to this one. Here. That's what I thought that was when they first showed it. I was like, volcano. And don't think they don't have the ice volcanoes, because they do. Numerous craters with no known causes. The Sputnik Planum, an otherworldly terrain on Pluto, may seem ancient, but scientists believe it is actually quite young, in geological terms, at around 100 million years old. This relatively recent age means that it is still taking shape, with ongoing geological processes shaping and reshaping its features. On the surface of the icy plates, curious dark stripes have also been observed, believed to be created by powerful winds sweeping across Pluto. Interestingly, similar patterns are seen here on Earth, and it's almost like Pluto has its own version of weather patterns. And despite its frigid temperatures, Pluto has a heart, but there is more to this story. Scientists have revealed that Pluto's heart has an actual physical impact on the dwarf planet's behavior. Really? This heart-shaped region was discovered by the New Horizons spacecraft during a flyby of Pluto and now studied by the JWST. It covers a million square miles and is made up of nitrogen glaciers. The left ventricle, known as Sputnik Planitia, forced the planet to reorient itself to face its moon, Charon, on the opposite side. Scientists call this phenomenon a true polar wander, where a planetary body changes its spin axis due to large geologic processes. 
the current position of the ventricle, which is a cold trap accumulating nitrogen ice to make a 2.5 mile thick ice sheet, is responsible for cracking Pluto's surface and creating gigantic faults in its crust. The basin is thought to have formed to the northwest of the present location and closer to Pluto's North Pole. And if ice continues to accumulate on the basin, Pluto will keep reorienting itself, so it's not free yet. Who knew a cold heart could be so fascinating? Pluto <laughs> is full heart. of surprises, right. and one of them is the existence Pluto of... Pluto is cold-hearted. That's what I'm going to start referring to it as now. Fascinating. Pluto is full of surprises, and one of them is the existence of dunes on its surface. These dunes are different from Earth's sandy dunes, as they are composed of frozen methane ice grains that have been sculpted by winds. But dunes are not uncommon in our solar system. They have been found on many other celestial bodies such as Mars, Venus, Titan and even a comet. Pluto's dunes are in a pristine condition, indicating that they were formed quite recently, probably within the last 500,000 years or even more recently. Pluto presents a fascinating puzzle in this regard. Despite being billions of years old, its surface features and polygonal shapes suggest that it's a young active geological system. The likely culprit for this activity is a process called thermal convective overturning of ice. While researchers were already surprised to discover a vast liquid ocean on Pluto, they're now grappling with another unexpected possibility. Active volcanoes on the dwarf planet. Them ice volcanoes. Enormous faults slicing through Pluto's icy surface suggest that there's a frozen ocean below, which has mm -hmm. gradually expanded and contracted, creating these features over time. That's Science. what I wanted them to show, bro. Can you imagine a, an active, erupting volcano on Pluto? <sighs> Fam, if we could get live footage of that, I won't leave the house. Who cares what's going on outside? <laughs> you know, I won't leave the house. I sit there and watch that, fam. I just think that'll be just a spectacle to see because with those type of temperatures, yeah. I think, yeah, yeah, I want to see that. I'm sorry. I'd, I'd pay pay-per-view to see that. Passing through Pluto's icy surface suggests that there's a frozen ocean below, which has gradually expanded and contracted, creating these features over time. Scientists believe that the ocean is still in the process of freezing, potentially forming new faults on Pluto's surface as we speak. Ooh. If Pluto is indeed an ocean world, then the Kuiper Belt could be teeming with similar oceanic dwarf planets, which would vastly expand the list of habitable places in our solar system. So what more will the JWST uncover about our solar system? Let us know in the comments below. I don't think well, that I don't think Pluto could ever be habitable. Like you said, extreme temperatures, how far it is away from the sun, all that type of stuff like that. You know what I mean? Even if a volcano could become active and change that, uh, it's still too far away from the sun for me. You know what I mean? But who knows? We all we can do is continue to monitor it and see what happens. You know? I'm I'm excited though. Man, I want to see. Oh, I'm just praying that technology gets better quick, at least in my lifetime, so I can see stuff like that, you know. But uh, y'all get at me in the comment section, though, man, and let me know what you thought about this video and what James Webb has done, what it's shown us, and the different things that we found out, especially about Pluto. Did you know some of that? Even I learned a lot of new things here today, so... Y'all get at me in the comment section, man. Let me know what you think and stick around and stay tuned. The next one, I'm going. Peace.